you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing with your coins right now. So, guys, as you guys know, I typically combine these two series on similar days. What to be doing in Madden right now and what to do with your coins. I have to break them separately because if I put them together, I'd have to rush the video because I don't want to give you guys a 20 minute video because no one's going to want to watch a 20 minute video. Now, if I make it closer to like 10 to 13 minutes, I won't be able to properly analyze coins, the market, and the trends properly for you guys while also being going over what you should be doing in Madden. So if you haven't seen the other video, make sure to go check that out after this video. And guys, pretty much what we're looking to forward to today is Mud here is coming out pretty soon. And you know, it's like, what, three days away at this point? And I want to show you guys that I'm doing the exact things I preach. I feel like that's important because if I just tell you guys to do things and I don't actually, I don't actually end up doing them, a lot of you guys might think I'm being fraudulent. So I'm going to show you guys that all the advice I've been giving you, I've been partaking in myself and I'll go over all that in the video, guys. But before we get into the video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. We're so close to 9K. You guys have been killing it. All the new viewers, thank you so much for all the support as of late and all the old viewers, the loyal ones. Thank you for still being there. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell and comment down below. Say what's up. All the OGs, type OG down below. And guys, as far as likes today, I am doing another 50k giveaway. You guys smashed the like button yesterday. You guys are so close to hitting the goal. Once you hit it, I will announce a winner probably within the next day or so. If you guys hit it, you're really close. But let's up the ante, right? You guys did it yesterday, so let's try this again. If you guys get 450 likes, I gotta up it because you guys killed that too easily. 450 likes, I will give... Actually, no. Let's make the stakes higher. 500 likes, and I'll give away 100k. All you gotta do is comment down below 100k. Just 100, 0, 0, K. Comment that down below. Like the video. If we get to 500 likes, which is half a thousand likes, I'll give away 100 like, uh, 100,000 coins to a random commenter. That's all you guys gotta know. So go start smashing the like button right now. Go comment and then enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Now let's get into this. So, like I've been preaching all week, guys, I wanna build my coin stack for a promo. That's, that's like the biggest tip of advice I can give to you. Always have a coin stack going into a promo. Nothing is worse than coming into a promo and not being able to take advantage. Like, for instance, last year during the December promo, Good thing I went in with, with two, I saved two million coins up just for the December promo. And guess what? I left the December promo with 13 million coins. You don't have to believe me. But if you guys go watch my channel when I first started, I was loaded. Tons of coins, tons of cards, trust me. But anyways, point being, I went into that promo, saved up two million coins. So the first week, they drop a platinum card blitz. Will they be dropping that from Mud Heroes? Probably not. They'll probably drop that in the uh, for around Thanksgiving, the October promo around Black Friday. Going into that area, that's when they dropped it. They did do a blitz. It cost training and coins. Luckily, I, had, I saved up both of those. In five packs of platinum quick sells, I got one million coins worth of quick sells. So now I had three million coins. Then they dropped ghost cards. And I was like, oh, cool, ghost cards. So I saw them going for like 400K. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to touch. Those too expensive. Then they dropped another blitz where they gave us like, that, no, no, this is what happened. The ghost cards went for like 250K. And I was like, that seems pretty cheap. I'm going to buy a few because their training value would be higher. I'm going to buy like seven of them as an investment. Then they dropped another blitz and that had the use of snow, which was the currency at the time. So the, those cars shot up to 450K. I sold them all. I doubled my coins with another million coins. Then they dropped presents with snow. I had bought another 10 investments of snow beast. Then before you know it, I had 12 million, 13 million coins. Guys, this is the stuff that could happen during, it was a quick little story. Sorry for, you know, distracting you guys. But this is the kind of stuff that could happen potentially by being able to take advantage of promos so for example mud heroes comes out do i think mud heroes will be the best promo to make coins not the best that's always going to be the christmas promo most likely but there's always opportunity to make coins such as when mud heroes first drops let's just say they do it they, they segment it right let's say the first day there's just players and sidekicks you buy a few sidekicks for the price you think are fair and then a few days later they drop a collection exchange your sidekicks for one uh hero card or whatever Oh, now sidekicks gonna be more valuable. They're gonna go up in price. Your investment was well paid off, or vice versa. You can buy, or you know that at the end of the promo, they're really cheap because people have so many of them. You buy a few. You wait a few weeks. The promo starts to die down. And they come back up in price. Or sidekicks are too cheap. The uh, their training value is higher. I'll go, but you guys don't have to worry about that because when it comes out and time comes, I will give you guys all that advice. All I gotta say is always have coins going into a promo, and I'll do the rest of the work for you guys. I'll I'll, I'll collab with you know collaborate. 
or however you say that properly. With Xerxes, we'll do our little thinking of what we should be going over and what we should be talking about. And I'll give you guys all the, I'll do all the thinking for you guys. So just have your coins always ready. Now the Mud Heroes promo, not as much, but for especially when October, Thanksgiving, and Christmas comes, make sure you have at least 500,000 on hand. And then I say for the, the guys who have a lot more coins, at least, two, I like to have at least a million on hand. I have two million ready for this. Now, as you guys know, I've been over the market plenty. I'm not going to spend too much time on the auction block in this video because obviously we've been over this. Look at the prices right here. That 250 just got me nervous. I thought I saw one. I thought I saw a snipe right there. Obviously, they're at 170. They're crazy low. I mean, I've, I've actually seen them even lower than this. Look at this. Willie Brown's 212. Alan Page, 220. Munoz, 248. Shannon Sharp, 246. They, oh, 232 for Shannon Sharp. I might have to buy one. This is ridiculous, guys. Like, I cannot believe the prices I'm seeing right now. Just know the market is at a bad, it's, it's, not, it's not a bad place right now. But good thing, I told you guys, if you listen to sell your teams two weeks ago and be ready for this, because I told you this would happen. People are selling heavy. Now we're getting the last minute sellers. This is what the, these are the last minute sellers who are done with Weekend League and finally they feel like they can sell their team before. They came on to their disappointment, they're losing hundreds of thousands of coins by waiting. If you guys follow the channel though, you know that I gave you this advice two weeks ago because I knew this would happen. Prior knowledge of Madden already tells me that people like to sell their teams a week before, a week to two weeks before promos, and that is when the market pre-dies. So I said two weeks ago, at the earliest, I was like, sell it now. Don't wait, trust me, prices will come down. A few days later, the market's been cut in half. I hope you guys went about that. And now, as far as what, to, what you should be doing as far as your coin stack, I hope you guys are all leveled up already. This is limbo time. Limbo time means that we're literally in a state of Madden where we haven't gotten our first big promo. We still have a few more days to our first big promo. You guys probably have four days of boarding. There's most likely no house rules this week. There's nothing to do this week. Go get your levels done. Please go get your levels done. Your levels, the level, okay, first off, someone commented that you don't get this many coins. You're wrong, whoever said that. Because I'm specifically saying level 50 through 60. If you were level, if you were max level 50 to 60, and max level 50, hitting 60 gets you close to 350k worth of coins and quick sells, platinum players, and cards. And if you use your power pass properly, like I did on Lawrence Taylor, and I sold back my old Lawrence Taylor, I ended up with like 700,000 coins. So that is a great, like just off level 50 to 60 alone, you can have enough coins for a mud hero. So go get level 50 to 60, you'll get about 350k worth of coins, and just oh, sit on that. And if you guys aren't even level 50 yet, if you're like level 25, oh god, like if you're level 25, if you can get to level 25 to 60 this week, which is very possible, I've done it, I've done it in a day, just trust me, it's possible. Although, I don't know if you guys have the mental capacity to handle that. I really, I barely did. But if you guys do hit from level 50, to, uh, level 25 to 60, you probably gain a little over a million coins, maybe more. Trust me. Get that done. Get everything you need to get done regarding your coin stack prior to it coming out. Nothing's better than getting into the promo day one. And you wait a few days and you're like, ah, Saquon Barkley for 250. Bought it. Ooh. Julio Jones, 260. Ah, bought it. Oh, I want him to. Yeah, buy him too. Then you have this stack team. You're feeling good. And then you got them cheap, and then when their price comes back up, you can just sell them back. It's just a great feeling. It's like Madden Nirvana, just being able to buy all the top cards, not feeling like... The worst feeling is going to the promo with 100,000 coins. Like, you have no coins. You go in with no coins, but you have a full team. And you see, Saquon Barkley came out. Now my running back's not the best. Oh my god, Julio Jones came out. Now my Jerry Rice isn't that good. Oh wow, there's a new quarterback? I guess my Steve Young's not that good. And then you're like, okay, I'll go, I'll go sell all of them, and I'll go buy the new ones. And you look up Steve Young, and you're like, wait, I paid 500k for him. Now he's only 200 and then you're like, okay, well, I'll sell Marcus Allen, and then I'll buy the new Saquon Barkley, and it's like, I paid 300k for Marcus Allen, he's only 120 now, and you get into, like, Madden depression, like, you really get, like, upset about it, you lost half your coins, maybe more, and then when you sell them back, you're, you, if you sold all three of them back, you still don't have enough to buy any of those cards, like, you literally, you'd have to sell your quarterback, your running back, and your wide receiver just to get maybe a running back. And then you're just like depressed about it. You realize that your team's like in a bad place. Then you want to go spend money on packs. And it's just a it's just a bad cycle, guys. If you just listen to my tips to stay ahead of the game, you won't have to worry about that. That is my biggest fear. I've oh I've nothing I hate more than getting into a new promo and being like, damn, I want all these new cards. And I go to sell my team back and I lost half the value. And even the value returns doesn't even guarantee me what I want on the other end. So my team ends up actually looking worse kind of at the end of the day. And even though I get that one big player, it's this is football. One player isn't the game, trust me. You could have the best running back in the game. You have the worst O-line, no tight end, no quarterback. It's very, very unlikely unless you're a god at running the ball. 
And maybe this year, I guess you can be a guy to running the ball, but it's still gonna be very unlikely. Or if you have a great quarterback with no receiver, it's not gonna work. It's like, it's, you need a line, you need a defense, you need a lot of things in your team. One hole in the defense can make the biggest difference. I told you when I had Earl Thomas there, he was a big liability on the left side of the field. I put Brian Dawkins, my defense playing a lot better now. One little piece can make a big difference to a whole unit. One piece as alone cannot make a difference to a no unit. But guys, that is about it for the video. Like I said, we're in limbo. Get your levels done. Build up your coin stack. At this point, you really can't sell. So sorry to all you guys who didn't listen from the first time. Me and Zerks have been telling you guys this on Twitter and everything. It's, it's too late to sell. It really is. Like, if you guys really want to sell now, I just, I, I wouldn't even bother selling at this point. Like, I still have my Willie Brown. I didn't sell him because he's too cheap. And honestly, I got him for cheap. So I didn't really mind. Again, I, I bought, you could probably buy, you could buy a few players right now, to be quite honest with you. Like, at this price, if you have any, if there's ever a player that you wanted right now that was a legend, maybe you could just start picking them up now. Like, I might honestly buy Shannon Sharp back at this price. Oh, he's 240 now. He's not 230. If he gets down to like 220, I might honestly have to pick him up. I really do like Sharp. But again, there might be a, there might be a Mud Heroes George Kittle. So I can't exactly go doing something like that. Kevin Mawai is back up to 288. So like maybe I should have kept him for 220. Again, prices are fluctuating. Like I said, if you want to buy them at the cheapest, like if you find them for like 200, 220, those kind of guys, pick them up. You can sell them back, like I just said. I bought Kevin Mawai for like 230, 240. I sold him back for like 260 yesterday. I didn't really make anything back, but I also didn't lose my coins. Guys, that is it for the video. I dragged that end a little bit on accident. I wanted to talk about this earlier. It just came to my mind now because I saw the prices. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, boys. Let's get to 9K. And once we get 9K, it's the home stretch to 10K. So let's get that going. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, boys. Don't forget, 100K giveaway. If we can get to 500 likes. I upped the ante today. It was 50K for 350. You guys nailed it. Or about to nail it, at least. If you guys get 100 I mean, 500 likes in this video or any video today. So make sure to do this on every video. I'll mention it again. 500 likes on this video. I'll give you guys 100K to one random comment. All you got to do is comment down below. 100K. Like the video. Make sure to watch the whole video, guys. It greatly helps me. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.